Hello. This is called Ufish TV. So when Peter Ferguson says to me, so where are we going on A-Winger? I had to think about the answer, and the answer is obvious. I don't know, Pete, get behind the controls, because it's about you. So how about you take us fishing? Okay. G'day, everybody. Well, our plan is here today, is just to look around the area here, find some nice marks on the sounder, and see if we can find something worth fishing for. The reason we've come up with Pete is Pete's on fire. He's got a six kilo, a seven kilo, a five kilo, or something like that. Yeah, shit. a couple of fours, a, a 6.2 and a 7.1 winger. And, an, and it's like 12 degree water in uh, the first week of September. So pretty good going, Pete. Yeah, thanks, Brendan. I don't want to interfere with anything you do today, so you just do it exactly like you do it. Yeah. Have a look at that. Much, well, if you need any help with the sand, I'll just, I'll just help you through that. But yeah. just do everything like you would normally do it, mate. So basically, where are we? And what sort of depth of water you've been fishing? I've been fishing between 13 and 15 metres here, Brendan, in the north arm. Finding the fish, just sounding along, finding a little bit of structure and a few fish on the sounder, and then playing the waiting game. I find early season snapper is really about patience. It's a bit like gummy fishing. You've got to be prepared to do that five or six hour session for a 15 minute bite time. Since to me there. 60% or something. Oh, oh look at that. That's a, that's a good fish. Okay, we've done some sounding up. Pretty happy with what we've just found on the sounder. Quite a few nice solid marks. It's gonna drop the anchor here. We've got about two and a bit hours left in the running tide tonight. And we'll put out some nice fresh squid rings. And a bit of luck, we'll crack a fish. Just quickly gonna show you the rod and reel we're using for 2012. This rod is called the Iron Fist by Shimano. The Iron Fist, you'll never forget it. It's a silver rod. It's six to 10 kilos. I've got an Anos XT 8000. How I come to have this outfit, it's quite an interesting story. Last week, me and Pete decided we we're gonna go snapper fishing. That night, I had to have some snapper outfits ready. All my rods were shorn, so I rang up Lofty, a complete angle ring, would said, Lofty, I need five outfits for snapper for Western Port. I need a merger, Pete's gonna drive up there. They have to handle the currents of Western Port. They have to run 12, up to 12 ounces of lead. I want to run mono on it, so the reel has to run about 200 metres of mono, 20 pound on it. And I want them to be strong and I don't want them to fail. And most importantly, I want them to be affordable and cheap. So when we show them on the show, everyone can go in and afford something like this without breaking the bank. Like this whole outfit is probably worth about a third of just a stellar reel. Okay, these are snapper. They don't require the big end stuff. But that is still quality and that will last all season and won't let us down. And uh, Lofty, I, he came through like, I had no idea what I was gonna get, but this is what we got. And I'm really, really happy and so is Pete. It's really, really sensitive, but really strong. He says, there's no way no we're gonna break it. We can't break it, he reckons. Rig today, pair of suicide hooks snelled together, about 60 mil apart, both in a nice little fresh squid ring. Reason for suicides, solely early season fish, much prefer that. Quite often just a short bite on the back of your bait, more chance of a hook up. If they're a bit finicky, good. When they're really starting to bite in a couple of months time or a few weeks, that's when the uh, circles are very good, grab them in the mouth. All right, so that dropper, eight ounce sinker. Put it out to make sure it hits the bottom. Okay. Only fishing about a kilo of drag, nothing heavy. Same again, another one exactly the same. Don't believe in using filtered much, or anything like that, just squid. Always trying to cast out at 45 degrees to the boat, so the tide can bring that sinker back around to the boat, minimises the tank risk. Make sure that sink is touching the bottom nicely. 